Thomas, you've had a great start to your career in the BP World Tour yeah. and now in America. How do you feel that your game is at the moment and, and how do you think it's come on in the past couple of years? Um, well, I just feel like it's been a steady kind of upward trend, you know, it's been kind of steadily getting better, my stats have been steadily getting better, better results as well, uh, overall just a more solid player year after year, you know, um, and then I had the big step this summer uh, where I qualified for the PGA Tour and I've kind of decided to, to give it a good try, um, it's been pretty good to be honest, you know, I got off to a good start which was key as well for, you know, when you come from the Corn Ferry category, it was key to get off to a really good start to be able to play in all these other elevated and bigger events. So that's what I did, and I've been really enjoying the challenge so far. It's been uh, it's been great. I've been traveling with my family. It's all together. You know, spending a lot, obviously a lot of time overseas, but it's um, it's it's all part of it, and it's uh, it's uh, definitely changing my life. But it's been really good. Well, now you're back on home soil. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it felt strange, actually. It's quite funny. It felt strange. You know, I haven't. Uh, I feel like I think the last time I played a DP World Tour event was just last year in December. So uh, it felt strange to be back, but it's just so good to be to actually see some f some familiar faces. Obviously, being back in Belgium as well, it's even even better. You know, you see some people that you know, your friends and family. You know, it's going to be a, a busy week and uh, and a lot of friends and family that are going to come and, and watch me. So we're very much looking forward to it, and it's uh, it's been great to be out here. Do you feel that your time in the States has added kind of a, a layer of versatility to your game? And, and do, you think, do you think now that you're back in Europe, how do you feel about breaking it? Yeah, I mean, together? you know, the level in Europe is really, really high, so I just think that I have to play well no matter where you are. You know, I don't take this week any lightlier than uh, than a week in, in America, for example, you know. So really, really every week is, is, a, is a good challenge. Yeah. Guys here are more and more younger names who are doing really well as well. You know, obviously there's no Rory this week, there's no Scotty Shuffler this week, but all the other guys out here are really competitive and playing some really good golf. So you just got to get after it and, uh, and keep playing great golf. And I think that's what I'm hoping to do this week. <laughs> we mentioned the good start already this year and um, in previous seasons, but yeah. there have been a few kind of nearlies, a few kind of uh, yeah. top tens, top fives. You've had a top, uh, a couple of runners up and a top three yeah, that's this right. tournament. So, um, how much would it mean to kind of get over the line here and how do you feel that your game is uh, or your mind is in approaching that kind of next Yeah, cycle. you know, I, I was lucky to take two weeks off. You know, I didn't play last week at the Wells Fargo, which was a big event, and the week prior to that as well, I really needed I need some, time, some time off, and hopefully it pays off. I took one week completely off, and then last week I spent it uh, training and, and working hard, so hopefully it pays off this week. Um, but it's, yeah, it just... Um, I'm just really looking forward to the challenge, you know, it's been, it hasn't been easy, you know, there's been a lot of golf as well and I've been kind of forced to play a lot of golf as well in America to keep up my, my ranking to be able to get into all these elevated events, so I've been able to, um, to hopefully pace myself a little bit, so obviously I fell back a little bit now in the PGA Tour ranking, but uh, I think I'm going to come back fresher and, and hopefully fresh this week as well and hopefully I can uh, um, have another Top five, top two, or probably win. <laughs> and what, what result that would be here, of yeah. all places, kind of how, how much would that mean? Well, I think it would mean everything. You know, I've, I've obviously been very near a couple of times, and I've just tried to not really think about it too much. You know, I'm kind of doing my own thing now. I've got other longer term focus and, and, and goals, if you want to say it that way so really winning is, is is a bonus you know and i'm sure it will happen someday but obviously if it could happen this week that'll be just a dream come true really and this is um, obviously a big a big year for all europeans so a Ryder cup year um is that on your mind at all and how much uh, are you kind of working towards that tonight in september yeah it's funny i kind of handled the Ryder cup a little bit the same as getting that first win you know it's not really a, a goal that i try to think of of it all the time. I think it's more of a consequence of great play, you know, a consequence of um, of achievements done and, and goals reached, you know, and I think if I reach all these goals, a win will come and the Ryder Cup will come. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's, That's right. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Um, I've also got one throwaway question. It's just, it's just about sort of growing up in Belgium. And yeah. And whether you had any kind of idols or icons when you um, when you growing up here on the yeah. golf course of it. I know the, the name Flory Van Donk is still chucked yeah, out. Today. Yeah. Is, is he someone that you look up to? I obviously. The only issue with Flory is that you know you've never he was obviously a bit older than me. I've never really witnessed him during my lifetime playing golf, so it was a little bit diffi more difficult for me as a young player to really uh, to really follow his steps because I've obviously never 
met him, you know, unless Nikos Kolsaros, who obviously Nikos, you know, was on tour when I was 10, 12 years old, so I was able to see him on TV and everything. So it was much more easier for me to relate to him than to Flory. But obviously, Flory, when you know everything he's achieved, you know, all these runner ups, he's never won the Open, but he's been so close to a couple of times. And um, yeah, he's, he's one of the greats in Belgium. We all know it. And, uh, and yeah, but, but Nicholas has always been someone I looked up to, obviously, because he, he was at the high of his career when I was younger. Uh, obviously, Tiger, I've always been a massive fan of Tiger. Um, and that's, that's about it, really. Perfect. <laughs> so, Thomas, you've had a brilliant start uh, to your career, some amazing performances on Deep World Tour and now in America. Yeah. How do you feel your game is at the moment? Alors très très content dans la situation que, que je suis euh, pour le moment. Voilà, j'ai pas encore gagné, mais euh, voilà, on est solidement pla placé sur le sur le classement de la FedEx. Tout se passe bien en ce moment. Voilà, ça m'a manqué un petit peu de jouer en Europe, donc très content d'être ici cette semaine. Mais le tour le PJ Tour est, est en tout cas euh, une une chouette activité, un chouette une chouette saison en tout cas. Il y a encore pas mal de, de tournois à venir, donc euh, je pense qu'il y a moyen de faire une bonne fin de saison euh, pour euh, pour terminer en beauté. So you've had some time away, yeah, yeah. but now you're back on home soil. Yeah. How excited are you to be here this weekend to compete? Oui, alors c'est génial de, re, de, de revenir sur le DP World et en plus de revenir en Belgique, c'est des, euh, des moments particuliers et voilà, on espère pouvoir euh, ramener un trophée, euh, performer le mieux possible devant nos, nos amis et nos fans et, euh, et vraiment bien s'amuser. Je pense que c'est finalement principal euh, cette semaine, c'est d'avoir du plaisir, revoir les gens qu'on n'a plus vus depuis longtemps et, et, et faire une bonne semaine pour se préparer pour la semaine prochaine sur le PGA Tour. Thanks very much. Cheers, good luck.